me five minutes. Right. So just hi, Come on good in. to see you. Yeah. Hi. Hello. This is Greg. Oh, we do that that way around. Yeah, this is good. Astrologer. <laughs> this is my friend Faye. Hi, Hello, lovely. My friend Faye. Yeah. So um, we go yeah. up. Yeah. Alright. I've got way inside somebody, so Yeah. Even though I told them I'm It's difficult sometimes to walk through Glastonbury, isn't it, without getting stopped. Filming her butt again now. Oh wow. Hi. Oh god. Right. So are we alright in here? Do you yeah, think? is this the council chamber, is it? This is the mayor's partner. Oh, right. Can we so, go in the council chamber? Yeah, so... Is that more private? I like that. <laughs> My Leo head likes that. <laughs> but it looks like some more beautiful in there. I wanted to talk about something else. Oh, that was all. Uh -huh. I don't realise all this is all better. No. There's, some, there's an amazing painting down there, this round and round looking fellow here. Yeah. I suppose this looks a bit more... Well, because we're doing our art, yeah, it's just yeah. lovely to see all the art, you know? Absolutely. Really to... Well, you've got art in there, you've got all well. the, the old mares. What the hell is the old date? Well, that, that's a painting of a chap called Peter King, and he was alive in the early, late 1600s, early 1700s. Thank you, Jackie. That's okay. Early um, 1700s. I would imagine that painting is around about 1715 or something like that, when he's Lord Chancellor of Great Britain. But he was the first recorder, what we would call these days a clerk, of Glastonbury Town Council. Wow! And he was instrumental in having the council set up. So that is a that's a painting of national importance. I do think that family heritage still going to our Glastonbury people. Well, he wasn't really a Glastonbury person. Oh, awesome. He came from a place called Bray Ashton in um, Devon. Uh, there are uh, kings, uh, people who are called kings. One of the mace bearers, uh, slightly before my time, was a Mike King. And there is sort of rumour that they're related. Okay. We, do you want a cup of water or anything? I don't know yeah, they, water would be nice. Yes, but yeah. I think I might need some. So. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. You might get a drink of water. Yeah. And you these, like all to, these pictures, these are, are, are these the other mares that have been these are, before you? These are the, uh, the Hall of Shame. Right. These the other mares. <laughs> Previous mares. Yeah. Or the, all, of, all of them are out. Yeah, so the mares are in Europe, isn't it? Most of them are in chronological sort of order, apart from these two who seem to be in the wrong place. Okay. Um, and they, they sort of move in from from here. They, these are all clerks, and then these are all mayors. So is that a lady mayor though? We've oh, had a I few. Can't see that. <laughs> we've had a few lady mayors. This is that. There's even Rance up here. Um, yeah. I know it was Denny, wasn't there last year? We we um, yes, we've bumped up the um, number of female mayors considerably by having one last year mm. and I, our death mayor this year is also um, Emma George so mm. hopefully, you know, it's not automatic but hopefully she'll become mayor next year and that will be two in our four years will be women and maybe even three so I, I certainly think we could do with many more women being mayors to try and balance up the... Uh, yeah, it's nice that it's becoming equal, um, but like history, I isn't it? History, yeah. <laughs> so, women of the world take over. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's 
But that's when normal. Table, Why do you find that amazing? Normal. In our what? society, it's always the men. That's why it needs to change, isn't it? Because yeah. we're all equal. Yeah, this is um, this table, when this cloth on, it's really beautiful. It's the goat table, beautiful. I don't know what they're like. I'm happy to go wherever you want. Right, should we sit here? Yeah. Yeah. You can say stuff, can't you? Let's leave it, leave it up to yeah. your film crew, Mr. How you want to. Yeah, if you two sit there, I'll film from here, that's yeah, fine. Is that all right, Greg? Uh huh. Is that okay? Yep. Good. Would you like a glass of water? No, I'm fine, thank you. Your film crew, yes, please. And I can move this um, out of the way, this tray. Yeah. Could I just get what, Danielle, grab me an empty glass, please? Is that right? It's very warm. Because then I can just put the camera on the glass and then it can film itself. Thank you. So, now, do you want different, if, do you want the lights on over this side and turn them off on this side? Makes no difference. Makes no difference. No. We've got it's enough light in here. He's got a really good camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you seen him? He's on. Um, he does YouTube. He does a good sort of astrologer. Ah, very he's, good. He's got really loads of thirty-six thousand people yeah. following him. Yeah, it is. It's amazing, isn't it? Gosh, that's almost four times the size of Glastonbury. So if you just move a little oh, bit in, if I you don't know that. Yes. And I'll just move it closer so the microphone picks everything up. Is that okay? That's perfect. There you go. Is that right? Perfect. Looking all right. Okay. Perfect. Right. Suitably. Yes. Tired. Yes. Okay. So, and we can edit this, or is it just going to be a straight up, straight through? I, well, I mean, edit if, it. if I if I inadvertently say something that I shouldn't, we'll cut like out. I go, oh my beep. <laughs> you, yeah, no, no, that just puts you in the normal category, so don't worry. <laughs> There are a lot of people who go beep in this town, I'm sure. Well, we haven't edited anything yet because everybody's been really lovely and, and open, but in the sense of, like, the fact that, you know, we have, I don't think I ask too many horrible questions. OK. OK. <laughs> so, um, thank you for meeting with me today, John. My pleasure. Yeah. And I'm really pleased you come along and met, met with us because on the 18th of June, uh -huh. we'll be having our Synchronicity Art Fair which has um, been going for four years now. But as you can see from this flyer, we've had all the mayors come to this and, and the town crier. And it's a really good thing because it's a community thing, isn't it? With all the community coming together with all their beautiful talents and things like that, art especially. Absolutely perfect for Glastonbury, yeah. you could say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And art and crafts, and we've got um, all sorts of things, therapies going on. And everything. But today, I'd just like to talk to you as a person, you know, do you, I mean, not just the mayor, if you don't mind, if that's okay. Absolutely. Most of the time, I am a person, so yeah. that's really good. <laughs> yeah, I know, but at the moment, you've just taken like over the from being the mayor. The being the mayor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, first of all, I want to ask you, what made you want to be mayor? I didn't. I didn't want to be mayor. So that's, uh, that's the easy answer to that. Okay. I, in fact, I didn't even think I was going to be mayor. Yeah. Um, in fact, you know, when someone's elected mayor, they're supposed to make a speech. And um, I was so convinced that I wasn't going to be mm. elected. I knew that someone was going to nominate me, but I didn't think I was going to be elected. And to be even nominated took, took a group of people a long time to get me to go OK, because I wasn't, it's not something that had ever mm. really been my ambition. Mm. Um, I'm interested in being a councillor and serving the yeah, town, but yeah. this is something else. So, mm, yeah. they, my, when someone gets elected, they do this big speech. I'd like to thank mum mm. and dad and everything, and they mm. thank everybody. Yeah. You know, the person I saw down the street last week, mm. and it goes on and on and on and on. And mm. um, when I realised that I had been elected, mm. I thought I'm going to keep this short. Yeah. You know, mm. no one wants to hear me talking about everything. Mm. So my my acceptance speech was, I can do it quickly for you if you like. Yeah. It, no one recorded it on the night. So yeah. I said, 
When I was first elected to Glastonbury Town Council, mm. I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that I would be mayor of Glastonbury. <laughs> And when I was does to people, absolutely, <laughs> when I was re-elected in mm. 2015, yeah. I never ever thought that yeah. I would possibly ever be the mayor of Glastonbury. Yeah. Even when I was elected deputy mayor of Glastonbury last year, mm. it never crossed my mind that I would become mayor of Glastonbury. And even ten minutes ago, <laughs> so, <laughs> which got a big laugh, and I said thank you very much, yeah, you know, yeah. and that was it. Yeah. So. Well, that's. That's good, actually, in a way, isn't it? Because that just shows that what you're about. Because I know for a fact, because I've actually met you a long time ago. Yeah. And, yeah, do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it was, um, you were doing, the, we were doing the let thing, weren't That's we? That's right, Where yes. it was like a skills exchange, which was quite unique to Glastonbury at the time, wasn't it? I think they did one in Top Ness, but... There were, there were a number of them around, yeah. but Glastonbury's, uh, it was a time bank that we were doing yeah. particularly, and Glastonbury's time bank did become the one that was the model for the yeah. country. and it was wonderful, wasn't it? It, it was very, very good. Mm. And it was where we, we shared our skills, isn't it? That's right. It's yeah. a, a little bit like, um, you know, money is supposed to be one of those things that enables, mm. but it's really a great disabler, because if you haven't got it, you can't do anything. That's right. And so, um, what what this idea was to look around how what other thing have we got that we've all shared that we mm. can actually exchange. Mm. And time is mm. the great thing that everyone has. Everyone's got time, mm. apart from mayors. I'm discovering, but everyone else has got time <laughs> to do something, to offer something. And yeah. those hours are the same for everyone. Yeah. So an hour of your time is the same as an hour of my time. And that yeah. was the kind of premise that this yeah. idea was yeah. around. And so it could like take somebody that was say a cleaner and she could get an hour saxophone lesson or she could get a garden cut or some a man could give somebody like driving lessons or do some painting or whatever. It was, it was like yeah. that wasn't it? It was like that. It an was, hour yeah. of someone's time yeah, volunteering for someone. It wasn't so, back at the same person either, it could yeah. be throughout the whole group. So Yeah, I really liked it. I'm, sh I'm sad that she stopped. Well, you know, the, these are Something like that needs mm. someone to coordinate it, mm. and that, you know, unless somebody's got really a lot of time on their hands, that takes money. And um, when what what destroyed it really was the mm. the start of the, um, you know, the austerity and the recession mm. when um, the the government changed in two thousand eleven. Mm. Uh, that that really was the thing that uh, we lost our funding yeah, for. Yeah, it's it. a shame. Yeah. It but tried to carry that, on. Yeah, but that shows me that you're a very caring man, John. I can tell, I can feel and tell that you're a very caring person, the way you are, just the way you carry on. And the thing is, what do you care about in Glastonbury? What do you feel this year you're going to do for Glastonbury? That is, um, in, come, I know you didn't expect to be mayor and, I, and it came to you. Mm. Like a lot of things in Glastonbury, isn't it? One minute you're doing one thing and it sort of you, something else happens. But what do you feel it's like that you could make a difference with this year? Uh, it's, what you're saying there is it happens a lot in Glastonbury. Mm. Why you're called synchronicity, I'm sure, because these sort of mm. things that fall into place for people mm. in this town. Sometimes it's stuff that you don't really want to happen, but yeah. you have to go through. Yeah. Sometimes it's great, wonderful things. So synchronicity, serendipity, these are things that mm. Glastonbury has. And that really says something about the place. Mm. Glastonbury is, as we know, and I'm sure as people viewing this know, it's a very special place. It's it a, an amazing place. I don't think there's anywhere in the world quite like mm. this amazing place. Mm. And so I see the role of mayor as very much in service yeah, to the place. Yeah. In service to the people, yeah. but also in service to whatever this amazing thing is that mm. causes this synchronicity yeah. and causes this serendipity. And there some, you know, lots of people here are very spiritual paths. Yeah. Um, we've, we've got 79 different faiths now. 79? 79. 79. Wow. Now that the Cathars have turned up, ladies and gentlemen, wow. we have 79. And um, mm. that shows you something about this mm. amazing place. So beautiful. I hope that in my mayoral year, mm -hmm. I can be of service to yeah. that, that yeah. whatever. Well, you are going to be in service on the 18th of June because you're coming to the Ark Fair, which is wonderful, and we're going to look forward to seeing you. But I'm going to say something, and I don't want to get all political, but I've got to say this because I have to speak my truth, right? Yeah. There's something in Glastonbury that doesn't hold well with me at the moment, and it's because we're an art fair and we're doing all the art stuff and crafts, because there's so much beautiful talent in Glastonbury. Absolutely. 
I have a child of 13 and she loves to do art, but she does have a, a passion at the moment. She's worked with Yenis, which is, he, does, he uses oils oh, and yes, he's beautiful, yeah. And she's worked with a couple of other artists and she, which have helped her, guide her. But she has a passion at the moment for spray art right, because yeah. she's that age. And there's a, a beautiful mural on the side of, um, by Knight's Fish and Chip Shop. Oh, yes, and it's yeah. done by the youth of Glastonbury and it's done exceptionally well. Absolutely. And it fits in with Glastonbury because it's a colourful, beautiful town and exceptional. But I did actually read on Facebook last night that the Mendic District Council are going to paint over the wall. Well, they've given him a number of days, haven't they, to paint over? Yeah, and I just felt I just I know that I shouldn't be I should be on the on the, the fence on everything, but I do feel as a as person of like like trying to promote art that I feel it's so sad because what's it what message is that given our youth in Glastonbury? Because they've done exceptionally well on that. I felt they had Excalibur, the tour, and for a tourist coming in, they I mean they'd love to look at it. I mean I don't know how you feel about that, John. It's um I think that it's very clear there's a there's a petition about this piece of art. If you, you can check it out on the mm. internet if you uh, you'll put a link against this picture maybe uh, against yeah. this film the yeah. picture. Yeah. There's a petition going on, and the petition has actually got lots and lots of signatures now. Mm. Thousands of people are, are mm. really up in arms about this mural having to be removed. And so the, the best thing that anyone can do is sign the petition, yeah. because that will go to Mendip mm. District Council, mm. and they will be forced to discuss it at mm. a council meeting. So, you know, if you're concerned about art, you're concerned about freedom to express and this isn't graffiti mm. this is a it's piece a of street art, art isn't it yeah. it's art you know so yeah. sign the petition mm. and let mend it know because they're the authority that have made this yeah. decision to remove the artwork mm. and i think that you know the majority of people in town feel that this is the wrong decision yeah uh, now it's um it's very difficult i think for for um mend it because they don't want to appear to condone breaking the law mm. but there are exceptional circumstances as they know with any mm. planning this is a planning decision mm. where the planning authority mm. can take into consideration what they call mitigating circumstances mm. <laughs> and uh, I should th think that thousands of people saying don't paint over it is probably a pretty good case. And the other thing as well we did have the man that um, one of them that was involved with that piece of artwork and um, I know for a fact that he does um, I sell um, cans of um, can spray, you know, the art spray. But the thing is, that it's an environmentally friendly spray that he's, he does, which is really good as well. So that's, that's something that does sort of say what Glastonbury's about as well, I feel. Don't you? I, I, do you remember when we had the Banksies? <laughs> you know, I, the, the bank, we had a Banksy, it's very mm. famous, of a policeman frisking a little girl with her yeah. teddy by the side. Mm. You've probably seen it. And I, I wasn't on the council at the time that that came mm. here. And I knew what would happen with this town council. Mm. And I came to this council in this very chamber and I said, yeah. I stood up in the public bus and I said, please don't paint over this artwork. It's, yeah. it's by a guy called Banksy. You won't have heard of him, but he's internationally famous. Mm. This is a great honour for the town. Mm. Don't paint over it. Because they, they would paint over mm. everything. This town council was like... Oh, terrible graffiti, paint over. Mm. So I said that. But it's not terrible. And what did they do? They painted, they painted it. over it. Mm. So Banksy came back next year and did a thing, Jay Evis, did yeah. you see it? Michael yeah. Evis and Jay-Z combined. Mm. So, sounds like a horror movie, but it really worked. Mm. And there it was, on the same wall. Mm. I came to the council and said, he's come back and he's done another painting. Please don't paint over it. It's worth a lot of money. It could, you know, people will come to see this. What did they do? Painted they over. painted over it. Isn't that incredible? Well, it's not just about the painting over it. I think it's the message we've got for our, for the for the youth to um, combined with us. Is like that. Obviously, I mean that is done in such a tasteful way. It's yeah. saying you can express yourself in a tasteful way. I mean, if it was just like you know, not nice words or anything like that. Because if you go to the inner cities, that's what they've got. And we're trying to have a, you know, Glastonbury is exceptional. So we've you, got we've got. The largest contemporary art festival in the entire you know, yeah. Britain, yeah. possibly Europe, possibly the world. The yeah. One of the most famous. Yeah. Glastonbury Festival, Contemporary Arts Festival. Mm -hmm. We should be celebrating art. Street art is a viable part yeah. of art. 
you know, we, why, why aren't we as a town, why aren't we as a district mm. celebrating mm. this sort of thing? If you go to Bristol, mm. they have an amazing festival mm. around graffiti art and stuff like that. So why not here in Glastonbury? I know that there are people who would be very keen mm. for us to celebrate street art in this way. Mm. So I don't know what, what you think. Would you think that would be a good idea? Well, well, last year we did have this the guy with the spray paint into the um, town hall, but this year I have asked one of the guys that um, Lee on the street to come and if he can come up into the into the art fair, and I'm all for that. Any form of art, anything. Do you know what I mean? I feel that as long as it's expressing it, it's better to express yourself with art than go and smash something up or hit somebody. Or you know, yeah. it, to me, that is the way forward. You know, people in the National Pit Women's School they don't think it's important to have art. I think it's very important to have art. How are kids meant to express themselves? Absolutely. You know, that's I'm it's quite I'm quite passionate about it. But yeah. the thing is, I do feel as our mayor, you have a voice. I have a voice, but you have a bigger voice this year. So I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, my hope is in with you this year, John, because I know you've got a big part to play this year. So. We have a, a youth council, mm. and one of the things that's coming out of the youth council mm. is the need for some form of celebration mm. about graffiti art. So mm. I hope mm. that we will have that. That'd I hope be that I hope that we'll have perhaps our own festival of be wonderful, street art. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be amazing? Be great. And mm. also, you could. Can you imagine, I, I don't know, all the other things you could have. Maybe we could have some actual deliberate sort of um, walls put up, you know, temporary walls yeah, put up yeah. that people can come and spray. Yeah. Uh, and that, that you know that you're, you're going to have a revolving yeah. image on this yeah. wall, but you're not going to get that done by the coppers or whatever That'd for be doing great. That's, so really, that's really good. This is coming out What's of the Youth Council. Of course, as well. <laughs> well, let's not talk about those. Uh, but yeah, they, these are things that are coming out of, okay. of it. Um, I, I, I think it's what we should yeah. be celebrating, yeah. Slashbury. Yeah. We are a centre for spiritualness, for alternativeness, and for artistic, mm. creative yeah. energies. Um, that's not all Glastonbury is. I mean, Glastonbury is so much more than that, yeah. but we certainly have all those elements. Yeah. And these are the things that when most of the people who don't live here think yeah. of us, yeah. this is what they're yeah. thinking about. You know, it's, it's us, historic. And this is and all going to be, it's all going to be, if you see, we have no, no product <laughs> placement here. It's all going to be <laughs> here at the Serendipity Arts oh. Fair. Okay. Right <laughs> I'll get it in the end. <laughs> So right. this 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 and is this is some, what we're about. Yeah, and it? and we've also got some um, wonderful sort of people singing and on on the stage, and there's going to be all sorts going on. Who's on? Oh right, okay. It says here. Mm. Um, who's on? <laughs> I don't know. No, we got um, we've got John Dalton. Um, oh. He's going to be playing the harp. We've got. And Dave he's B. the reason I was late today. He's is taught he? me in the street. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got um, Dave Beach. We've got wonderful Dave Beach. Beach. Yeah, he's lovely, and so we all the people that are going to play. And Jamuna, he's going to be doing the drums. We've Fantastic got, we've, got, we've got two bands. We've got um, Lazy Days Band. Very good. And we've got um, a new band called um, Safe House. We've got a guy. I've heard of those. Yeah, They're very good as yeah, well. Yeah, we've got a guy called Ed. Um, we've got the dance, um, Glastonbury dance. Um, some people come and dance the dance studio. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and we've got the lady that does the dragon. She's going to be saying some poems about Glastonbury. So we've got a lot Very of people good. going on. And I think that's... I've probably missed somebody out. And they're probably... Oh, <gasps> Janie Garnett. She's going to do a cappella at the beginning. She's a beautiful voice. Did you know Janie Garnett? I, I have heard the name. Yeah, she's lovely. Her reputation precedes her, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I think you should come on down. Yeah, okay. What day is it on? On Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, the 18th, 18th of June. Saturday the 18th of <laughs> okay. June. And where is it at? At the Town Hall. At the Town Hall <laughs> on Saturday the 18th, 18th of, of June. June. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye, Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, oh, thanks. But... I hope that was all right. <laughs>